And meanwhile, the Republican National Convention and the markets left on some First Coast businesses after canceling. We want to talk about that tonight. You know, there were so many companies out there who were counting on orders to save their year, and then they were told their services were no longer needed. On your side, Alex Ositis explains the impact of the cancellation. And what would have been just a couple of weeks to the RNC being held here at the arena and down the street, including at TIAA Bank Field, vendors are now feeling the impact of canceling. Everything fell flat. You know, no, nothing's going on. We introduced you to Connie Estee shortly after her Siwa Custom Florals was named a vendor to the RNC. She'd been getting calls, orders from out-of-state groups planning to attend. Then it all stopped. It wasn't just me. It was two other people that were going to get work out of this also. Esty had to call off the help she requested from subcontractors working on orders. She says about 99% of her business income has dropped as events this year have been canceled due to coronavirus. What could have saved her dismal year puts her right back where she was. I was a little disappointed, but I'm a very optimistic person, so everything happens for a reason. Hoping for a rebound with weddings and parties next year. In the meantime, she's encouraging anyone who can to shop local. Think about small businesses trying to stay afloat in uncertain times. See, see what you can do to actually help the, the very, very small businesses. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.